Hello YouTube. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, a pair of Fry 8R boots. Um, so Fry is a company that's been around for a long time, uh, over 150 years I would say. Uh, they provided boots uh, to the military a long time ago. Uh, and their craftsmanship is uh, outstanding. Uh, handmade boots that last a long time if you take care of them. And you see I did a, if you've seen my other videos, I did a review of the Fry 12 Rs. Uh, and so the difference in these is, is the shaft height. And the shaft height on these boots are eight inches, uh, which is the, where you get the 8R from. And they're, they're, made just like the 12R harness boot, uh, nickel plated hardware, the leather straps, uh, Goodyear welt, stacked leather heel, <coughs> oil resistant sole, um, and uh, has the, um, no liner on the inside, linerless shaft. And just like the uh, 12 R's, if you watch that video, uh, the leather used in these are very, very thick. Uh, and uh, of course that adds to the durability of them and, and how long they last, but it definitely makes them uh, more difficult to break in. The 12 R's, I actually came back from a little um, vacation to see my wife's family for a couple weeks and I wore the 12 hours every day uh, during that thing, walking around on their farm and and everything else. Uh, and, and after a couple weeks of daily wear, you know, uh, 15 hours a day, uh, so I feel that they're broken in now. I can slide them on and off my feet easy. There's no, you know, pain on the toes. That first day walking through the airport, uh, crazy. Uh, they gave me a, a hot spot on my ankle uh, and on my toe, but uh, a little mole skin in a couple of days and everything was right as rain again. And these are the same. Uh, the look of it would seem that these would be a little bit more giving uh, than that thick black leather, but this is the same type of leather. Uh, and it looks, if you uh, don't know any better, you would think that this was new buck uh, or even some type of suede, but it's what they call oiled leather. Uh, and if you look around on how to care for oiled leather, uh, you won't find much. Uh, a lot of people uh, just wear them until they uh, fall apart and don't take care of them. And one of the reasons is a boot like this looks better when it is uh, broken in and worn and, and distressed. Uh, they look better with age, but if you take care of them, they'll look get, uh, they'll look good forever. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if these boots outlive me uh, with a couple of resoles. That's how nice this uh, how nice this leather is. It is really thick. Uh, but like the first day I got them, this, this oil, oiled leather is a lot like uh, suede and new buck. If you drop anything on them, uh, it will stain pretty easily. And and if you wipe it off, you'll still have that stain there. Like uh, the first day I was eating a, a burrito and got some hot sauce on them. Uh, and where I got that hot sauce, you can still somewhat see uh, here. Um, but after a couple of days, I, I, I cleaned them and, and that went away for the most part. And now it just looks like another part of the leather. Yeah. If I don't point it out to you, it looks like several other spots on the boot. But if I did not clean it appropriately, it would stain in the leather and be uh, a very noticeable distraction to how the rest of the boot looks. Uh, and you want a, a good, worn, distressed, broken-in-looking uh, 
oiled leather, not a, just a bunch of crap all over your boot. Uh, there's a difference in looking good and just looking like you don't take care of your stuff. Uh, so when you pay good money for a boot, you want uh, you want it to last. And so like the 12Rs, the price point on these are about the same. The 12Rs were 428, I believe, and the 8Rs um, were 398. And if you call in, they actually give military discounts. So if you're a uh, uh, active duty or retired or uh, you have a military ID card, they'll they'll give you a discount, which is great. We appreciate that, Fry. Uh, and so to talk about care a little bit, uh, like I said, if you do the research, you won't find a lot of uh, stuff on how to take care of oiled leather. Uh, but uh, you should take care of it uh, somewhat like you do a new buck. Uh, and so with that, you have some options with cleaning. Um, you don't want to just scrub it down with water and soap. It, it discolors the leather, it leaves stains. Uh, that's not the way to go. <coughs> but there's a product uh, by Saphir. I don't know how to pronounce it necessarily, but Omnidam. Uh, and so this, you pour a little bit in a bowl and then pour some water in there. And then you take a brush and you scrub the boot down with it. Uh, and you leave it on there for a few minutes while you do the other boot. Uh, and then you rinse the boot off uh, pretty good. You know, I like to apply it with a toothbrush. Uh, and then I'll take that same toothbrush and rinse it out. Uh, and then uh, I scrub it again. Uh, and then I rinse it uh, just under the faucet uh, with water. And then set them up and let them dry. Don't put them in the sun. Uh, just put them back in your closet or in your room. Um, and let them dry for about six hours. And then after that, you just brush them out real good with a clean uh, horsehair boot brush. Uh, and they'll turn out looking brand new again. Uh, and you could leave it at that. Uh, but the problem is with this type of leather, this oiled leather uh, new buck, is if you do drop hot sauce, water, uh, anything on it, it'll stain again. So uh, it's a very good idea to put some type of waterproofing, some protector on the boot. Uh, But before you do that, you want to condition them as well. This requires conditioning just like um, uh, your regular leather boots. And there's different things you could use for conditioning, but Big Four, it seems to work for everything. And you do that for this as well. And you just put a little bit on your hand and rub it into the leather. Uh, and you work it all over the leather. Uh, the entire toe, the vamp, the shaft, uh, your heel counter, the straps, everywhere. Uh, and once you get it on there real good, you let it sit while you do the other one. Uh, and once you get that done, uh, you sit it up and you let it dry for probably another 30 minutes or so. And then after it dries, you take your brush and you brush it out real good. Uh, and once you've got it brushed evenly the way that you like it, uh, then you can put your um, water and stain repellent on it. Uh, this is another product by Big Four that works great. Uh, or you can get a, a more expensive uh, product by Saphir that works very well. And there's uh, spray-on conditioners uh, by Saphir you can use for new buck as well, um, but I, I don't I don't think you need that. Uh, I feel that with uh, application with your hands you can get a, a, a just as smooth and more um, 
more personal with your boots. When you spray it, I feel that sometimes those applications are not as even, uh, especially on boots with straps like this. And so once you waterproof them, uh, you just let them sit for a couple of hours and, and they'll be good to go. And then the next time you wear them out and you spill something on them, uh, they'll, they'll be much easier to clean. So yeah, Fry 8R Harness Boot uh, costs about $3.98. Uh, you can get a military discount with them. It's a handmade boot that will last you for decades. Uh, like most uh, Western boots, Lucchese, Blackjack, um, Tacova, all these handmade boots are, they're, they're built to stand the test of time. Uh, and so they, they're worth the investment. And that's what I view them as, as an investment. So great boot, I do recommend.